Hello, this is Stuntman2536, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the Canon EOS Digital Rebel XT. Now, this is one of an older ca some older cameras, however, and it's discontinued from Canon's line. However, this still has a lot going, and if you can find this camera used today or find it anywhere, you know, it'll probably be a pretty good price and really, really worth it, in my opinion, anyways. Uh, it sports 8 megapixels, and hold on just a second, let me turn it to the back here. On the back, uh, there are, sorry about that, there are four, uh, or actually rather five keys right here. Menu, Info, Jump, Play, and Delete. So, when you turn the camera on, you're going to have your display stuff right up in here. It's going to tell you all about that. Um, if you go into here, you can see, uh, that's just a junk picture that I took. But you can scroll around using uh, this thing right here. And also these keys right in here. Zoom out, jump, jump to different things. Um, menu, there are different options in there to change the ISO, white balance. It's a pretty nicely laid out menu. Also, if you wanted to erase, you just hit that. Mouse over to, sorry about that, erase. Just hit erase or erase all. Um, shooting, there are many different modes for shooting. Uh, auto depth of field, manual, aperture priority, shutter speed priority, program, auto, uh, portrait, landscape, uh, macro, sports, night snapshot, and no flash. Usually I use um, use aperture priority just because I like to get pretty creative. Unless I'm having an issue like with the snow, I'll use manual. Sometimes I also use portraits, portrait mode as well. Now, uh, when you're taking pictures, you know, you, there's no live view on this camera or anything. This is what you see. Um, you can press this button here, and in the viewfinder, you'll have different points to select your focus point. And you can just turn the wheel up in here to select that focus point, and then just take your picture. There's nine, or actually seven different focus points you can choose from. Now, when you're in aperture priority mode, you can change your aperture. You can change your aperture with uh, by holding this and then turning the scroll wheel up at the top. And also change. Actually, that rather that's how you change your um, change your uh, um, exposure compensation. And then with this, you just scroll this to change your aperture. Scroll the turn wheel at the top. Um, change your ISO. Go into that. You'll have an ISO menu. This camera goes from 100 to 1600 ISO. Also, uh, the metering modes. There are three different metering modes. A uh, couple different autofocus modes, you know, beep, red eye. On uh, the second menu here, you'll have your flash exposure compensation, your other exposure compensation, your white balance setting, uh, your white balance shift. You can actually sell it a cu select a custom white balance. Then also down here, custom white balance. You can select an image for that to make your custom white balance. Color space, which is different color spaces parameters and then the next menu this is dealing with playback so you can protect your image rotate print pictures from your camera auto play them you know do a slideshow from your camera all that stuff um, auto power off this is just um, a bunch of different other options shoot without card format file numbering LCD brightness just some tool stuff then you can change your language, your video system, your communication, custom functions, you can clear your settings, you can flip your mirror up for sensor cleaning, and then you can view your firmware version, which currently 1.0.3 is the current firmware version out, and I, it's been out for a while, there's really not going to be any other updates, I don't think, because this camera isn't all that new. Um, you can also, this is a pretty handy button right here, you can change See, uh, to light it up in the night and stuff. That's I think that's pretty cool. Uh, right in here, you can change your 
mode of shooting so if you want to shoot continuously shoot with a self timer or just take a single shot um in the playback menu you can have your info it'll, that, if you press it once it'll tell you how many pictures the f stop your picture was taken at and the shutter speed press it again you get more detailed information such as the ISO everything you'd want to know all that great metadata as well as your histogra histogram as well uh, you can jump in between pictures jump 10 images you can just jump and then you press this to just jump past those um, overall this is uh, a great camera especially for the money today if you can pick it up used um, it takes some great pictures if, especially if you know what you're doing with this camera um, so I would definitely recommend it um, to buy this camera you know search on Craigslist they don't really sell it really anywhere anymore it might be kinda hard to find um, Oh, you know what, a couple things I forgot here. There's also a diopter setting up in here. You can change your diopter setting to view the clearness of your viewfinder. And then down in here, your white balance. You can just, instead of, like as I showed you before, you can go into the menu and change it like that. But there's a nice little handy shortcut here to change your white balance. And then your autofocus um, right there. And then metering mode. So, uh, overall, really nice camera that I would highly recommend. This has been Stuntman2536. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.